So as it gets colder, the harsh winter season will often leave many grumbling about the inconvenience. But for some in our area, it's a lot bigger than that. Tahalil Mohadeen shows us how a small group of people in Madison are making sure our most vulnerable are taken care of. Tahalil. I first met the members of the Youth Action Board last October when they were given the go-ahead to get to work on their vision to support homeless youth in Dane County. And in the months since, they tell me they've been hard at work. Shining just a little bit of light. People aren't aware of how much so it affects our community. 36 green candles and a message. Each of the candles represents 10 youth and young adults who will experience some type of homelessness um, throughout any given year in Madison Dane County. It's part of a nationwide event called Light the Night, led by the National Runaway Safe Line to bring awareness to the experiences of homeless youth. Experiences that for many in this room are personal. I experienced homelessness myself. And to help make sure it isn't an experience felt by others, members of the Youth Action Board are sharing their plans to bring more resources to Dane County. It's their proposal to help spend a $2.5 million federal grant that was awarded to the City of Madison in Briar Patch Youth Services last October, something they've been working on for months. It has been very emotional and overwhelming. Um, I have been really exhausted, honestly. Their plan is a two-parter. First, bring in a youth-centric transitional housing facility to Madison. That would cost about a million dollars and would serve about 30 to 50 young people a year. And second, launch a system navigation project to help homeless youth find their way to health care, child care, and food security. I, I think back to when I was experiencing it myself, and every time that we get together and work on this, I really feel as though I'm making a difference in a way that the younger version of myself really needed. Tomorrow to go over the Youth Action Board's proposal. YAB members tell me they're feeling pretty hopeful their plans will be approved.